subterfuge. It's a fascinating movie in real time to watch. And you're on the edge of your seat. What's going to happen? And so that four-year script has all already been written. It's, it's like, it's all written. It's in the history books, in the record books. It's like historians that go back to this 10 years from now, you know, five years from now, and see what actually happened, right? Not the BS that the media churns out. It's one thing I've learned as becoming an amateur historian and, and consulting with historians is that you go back to the news articles that were written contemporary to the events. There are, there are mistakes, and intentional uh, uh, falsehoods printed. Like, that's just the nature of media, right? And so the people at the time, whatever source they believed, they were believing whatever. And if they never went back to check the history, then they just believed it forever. But as a historian, you're not so beholden and you're not in the time, in the uh, uh, zeitgeist of the moment, uh, and, and, and you don't have those allegiances to, you, you know, you, you can look back as an objective observer, as a disinterested party and say, oh, wow, you know, these people were lying and these people were duped and these people knew the truth and these people were the heroes. You know, you can see that historically. And so to be in the moment presently and being able, thank God I see the truth. You know, it, it looks like awful things are happening and the corruption may prevail in, in the short run or whatever. But my point is there are patterns and the evidence that it's a principality at work, right? Um, and, and God, right? The principality is trying to undermine the duly elected, was trying to undermine the duly elected, elected president for four years. And now... What may happen, you know, if January 6th comes and goes, if January 20th comes and goes, and and uh, the, the challenger in this last election does end up taking power, like the, the, the president that was elected in 2016 is out of office, if that's what happens in January 20th, and this, the, his challenger, this guy who was not making decisions on his own, that a force was behind him making all the decisions. If that guy assumes office on January 20th, what you will have is the actual, that everything that's been said for the last four years about the previous president, that was all fabricated and made up. Every single thing that was said about him completely scripted to try and undermine him will actually be true. Literally. Conspiring with a foreign power to enrich yourself, you're bought off as a puppet of this foreign power, <laughs> that your family has been enriched, that your family is 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 colluding and has met, it, it, you know, is uh, all of the things and the so what we will see is and what we should see is in, in, instead of t two years of a false investigation you know completely fabricated investigation that resulted in and this was the conclusion of that two year 40 billion dollar 40 million dollar not billion dollar million dollar 40 million dollar investigation was that no Americans were found to have colluded with Russia. No Americans. Not just this president or his, his uh, um, election campaign or presidency. Not just him, but no American. That investigation uncovered zero collusion with Russia. That was the conclusion of that research. Now, we have already the evidence far more evidence, I mean, mountains of evidence, even before the election, the evidence was out of exactly what they accused him of. It's like already there. And so the investigation that's begun 
what should happen is that's the mirror image of what happened in the previous presidency will happen in this presidency and the results will be irrefutable to the American people, right? There was one in the in previous... Boy, this is long, sorry. But in the previous... So let me just boil it down. This could not have been scripted, right? This is a pattern in nature, right? What do patterns... How do you determine intelligence, right? How do you... In, determine that uh, an intelligent being did something. You look for a pattern. You walk out on the beach and you see the waves washing to and fro. You don't think anything. And then you come across a, a series of rocks that are all placed equidistant apart, right? That's a pattern. And you would never assume that the waves just put those rocks there in a circle, equidistant. You would assume because of the pattern in nature that an intelligence did that. Right? That's how you determine intelligence. And so this pattern, everything was scripted, fabricated, made up by intelligent sources, humans, to lie, right? And then four years later, everything that they scripted is actually true of the new president. Right? That's not something you could have planned. Right, that's an, that is evidence of intelligent forces at work in the world, in the most powerful nation in the world. Okay. Last thing. I hope you tracked with that. You know, it was, you know, this is stuff that's percolating in my mind, and I'm just spitting it out for the first time here. This is like my journal. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming along. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is, all right, so yesterday, so I'm not on Twitter. I, I I have a Twitter account. I don't know if I could ever, I don't remember. I, I've never had it on my phone or maybe I had it on a previous, I think I had it on my laptop. Again, it was for my band and I haven't touched Twitter in uh, four years. So I, I, I'm not, a, I don't know. Um, but I do have another social media account, like the big competitor to Twitter. I just started that like a month or so ago. And so I do spend some time, I try to spend a little time just reading what's going on. You know, you, you follow a bunch of people and um, it's a lot of conservatives. This is the conservative version, I guess, of, of Twitter. Uh, and there's this very prominent lawyer who's saying some really crazy things right now. And I happened to be on this social media app last night when this guy was releasing a bunch of tweet, uh, not tweets, but whatever they are, uh, tweets are for Twitter, but this would be the equivalent of a tweet and, you know, a series of them making some outrageous claims, let's say. And so this is a lawyer, I won't say his name, um, but if you're paying attention, you'll know, but this is a lawyer who's been, you know, suing the government because of the, you know, what happened in this last election and saying, you know, this is not, you know, the, the results were not the true results, you know, I'm avoiding saying certain terms because there's algorithms that will flag my terminology, uh, on YouTube. Uh, but to this lawyer, now one of my personal, I've always said if I was at some point in my life, I, if I ever became independently wealthy, uh, what cause would I give to like, you know, a lot of rich people give causes as tax write-offs, right? And so what cause would I give to as a tax write-off, but also it's something I believe in, you know, and it's, um, human trafficking. That line, I mean, that even before I discovered the Armenian genocide, the destruction of innocent human life is the most important thing to me because I believe it's the most important thing to God. And human trafficking has dropped precipitously under this president, the current president. But it's, it's a global phenomenon. There are missing children, missing people who are in the most unimaginably horrific circumstances right now, enduring abuse 
and torture and dying miserable deaths because of evil, perverse, greedy, satanic actions of humans. At high levels, very, very, very rich men can purchase humans and do and use them and dispose of them that is happening today, right now, constantly around the world. We're comfortable where we are, right? Watching this video, recording this video, posting this video. But there are human souls suffering unimaginably right now. All right, so this lawyer, people are calling him crazy. He's making some pretty bold claims and he's making claims that he has the evidence to support it and that his life is on the line. And this is a high profile lawyer who's been a, 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 a libel attorney, like defamation was his specialty and, and he's making defamatory claims. So he's putting it all on the line. Now, this is a guy who, I mean, it's controversial. Number one, he, 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 he quotes scripture, right? So, I mean, he purports to be a Christian. Like, I don't know. It's really between God and the individual. <laughs> How can I judge? I, you will know them by their fruits. And so, you know, if you know a person, they live their life, maybe you can judge, well, I think that person is a Christian, but I don't know this guy. He just, you know, maybe the people around him know him and maybe he is. Um, but he was a, I think he's a Democrat, I like registered Democrat. If not, it's recently that he changed and he used to support and contribute to Democrats. And then in around 2014, 2015, he started contributing to Republicans and he, um, and so, but then he, he said, don't vote in the Georgia election. They're like Senate runoff tomorrow, January 5th, right? But well, by the time you're watching it today, the election uh, of these two senators, you know, is it going to be Republican or Democrat? And it's very important because if they, if it's Democrat, then it's the potential that the Democrats run every house, you know, like the, the presidency and the Senate and the house of representatives, like that would be the case. If the two Democrat senators went like, this is a pivotal moment in history that we're living in right now. Uh, and, and then January 6th is, you know, when the certification of the electors that the, the supposedly the final word on who's going to be our next president, right? January 6th. And then the biggest rally of, 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 of supporters of our current president in Washington, DC, like the place is packing with humans right now. It, apparently it's already some, projected to be the largest political rally in history on the planet, right? The largest political rally ever on the planet. So things that ha have never happened before are happening all the time, and it, especially of late. And so this lawyer guy is saying that he has evidence of very influential people, and I believe on both sides of the aisle. And that's, that's the issue here. Like, there are people that, that are, have some skeletons in their closet that potentially could be exposed according to this lawyer. So it's like, is he, all right. So is he a, a, a plant, right? Is, is he, is a foreign country really behind this guy to undermine the current president, right? Is he, is the things he's saying, a lot of people are saying what he is saying is not helping the current president to, to win his case. He, he's, he's actually discrediting the whole movement. And by saying, don't go and vote, you know, you're handing power to the other side of the aisle. So it's like, or is he a man of God and just doing what he believes is right? And is he telling the truth? 
right? Now, history will tell. And I don't know what to think because he's saying things that align with my, like, there are people in power that abuse human beings, that abuse children, the most innocent. And if he's right, this could be an like an exposing of the wound, right? An exposing of the deepest wound, the deepest, darkest sickness in our country, in this great nation. And if he, if he, if it's true, if he, if this all comes to light, uh, then it's from God. But if it's, if it's not, you know, I don't know. We'll see, you know, we'll see. And we'll see if we'll see. I know I'm being, I'm being evasive. I'm not using specific terms, but if you're paying attention to what's going on in our country right now, uh, then you know what I'm referring to. If you're not, comment and like. Oh, and share and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so this is a long one. Um, last thing I want to show you. <laughs> uh, I worked a long shift today. Very long shift. Um, uh, I'm going to show you where this camera is mounted, right? I found this place. I'm not driving and recording anymore right now. It's like I get off work and I just, before I drive home, I get in my car, my van, um, and record. And I, I found this place to post, to, to prop up my camera. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where it is. You know, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. And I'm going to turn off and end the recording. All right, so here's where I've been putting the camera. Yeah, that's my visor. <laughs> There's my steering wheel. <laughs> I've been mounting it right there. Right behind that, I turn the camera around, and this props it up. All right. See? Hello, everybody. Hello. Can you see me? All right, that's enough.